Hello, and I'm Julia Child, and this is The French Chef. Actually, it's not. I'm Michael Howell from Devour the Food Film Festival, and this is Food from Films. Today, we're going to make beef bourguignon from Julie and Julia. You need about three pounds of chuck roast, bacon, and vegetables including onions, carrots, garlic, shallots, mushrooms, tomato paste, thyme, parsley, and bay leaf. Start by cutting the bacon into little sticks called lardons. Then cut the beef into cubes about one and a half inches square and season with salt and pepper. Just a little touch of olive oil in a medium pan. And then we're gonna saute this bacon for three minutes or until it's brown and crispy. Remove the bacon. Add the beef to the same pot. Spread it out as much as possible so that the beef all gets contact at the bottom of the pan and brown, stirring occasionally for three to five minutes. While the meat is browning, we'll start prepping our vegetables. Peel and slice two carrots, two onions, and chop three cloves of garlic. Now if the meat is nice and brown, and that is perfect. We're gonna remove it from the pan now. Add a little more oil to the pot and then stir in the carrots and the onions. Been cooking two to three minutes. A little bit of caramelization on those things. We'll add all this beautiful garlic. Stir and saute that for a couple of minutes as well. Two thirds of a bottle of good red wine. After the wine is reduced by half, add two tablespoons of tomato paste and stir. Then add two tablespoons of butter and let it melt in the pot. Return the meat to the pan and then toss in the thyme and some bay leaves. Stir all of these ingredients to combine. You can see that the wine is reduced. It's fairly thick and luscious. And now we're gonna add three tablespoons of flour Stir this around. We have some beautiful beef stock. We're gonna stir to combine, bring that up to a simmer. Put the lid back on the pan and place in a 325 degree oven for two and a half hours, stirring occasionally. Traditionally, pearl onions are used in beef bourguignon. We're going to substitute fresh shallots. Remove the ends and these will be added whole to the sauce. We have some nice cremini mushrooms. Cut the mushrooms into quarters. Braise the shallots in water and a tablespoon of butter in a covered pan for 20 minutes. Then in a separate pan, add some oil and butter and brown the mushrooms. And now we're gonna take it out of the oven. It smells good in here. The sauce is nice and thick. It's reduced down over two and a half hours. The meat is very, very tender, but not falling apart. Remove some of the actual carrot and onion that's in there if you see big chunks of it. Add the cooked shallots and mushrooms to the stew and replace the lid. Turn the stove off and put the pot back in the oven to rest for half an hour. Then remove and check for seasonings. Traditional accompaniments include buttered peas and boiled new potatoes tossed in parsley. And there you go. Beef bourguignon from Julie and Julia.